Forgiveness isn't always an easy thing for us to do. But Jesus speaks to that whole business of really of true forgiveness in Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. And that comes out of our daily reading in Job 23 and 4 and Mark 11 and 12. Listen to what these two verses in Mark 11 say. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Wow, uh, this is such a solemn warning. Jesus has just spoken concerning the house of God being a place for prayer for the nations. And now he speaks to how we are to pray or the attitude in which we are to pray. We are to pray with a heart of forgiveness. One of the things I think uh, that I think of is that first of, uh, I think first of all of those words, uh, all nations, which which really speaks to us that the gospel is, is for people everywhere, anywhere. And uh, then the attitude of prayer, how we are to pray, what is our heart to be when we do pray, uh, is that we are, are aware of the heart of God for the nations. And what's more, our own attitude toward anyone who has offended us at any point in time. And for I, I just imagine that for the Jews, this this was a bitter pill for them to swallow. For, for they were under the domination of Rome, and it was a harsh domination. Yet here Jesus is telling them that they are, in order to get it right, they are to regard praying for all nations, including Rome. If they're going to do that, get it right, they are to forgive. How powerful this is when it came to their enemies, those who had abused and used them. And for us, when we pray, first of all, the, the way that we are to pray is to significant. We are to pray with forgiveness in our hearts for anyone who has offended us at any time. Pray, Jesus said, for those who despitefully use us. And boy, at times that is a tall, tall order, yet an order nonetheless. Then there's this stark reality that if we are unwilling to forgive them, those who have offended us, God will not forgive us. And I say, what? That seems, that seems equally harsh as the abuse that we may have received. Who can do such a thing? And in, in, in reality, none of us can do that fully. It takes a work of the Holy Spirit in our lives to do such a thing. But with, and with men, it's impossible. But praise God, with God, all things are possible. Uh, he, he can help us to do that. The implications of such a statement really are, are beyond, uh, beyond comprehension. It shows the importance of forgiveness, of a, of a lifestyle of forgiveness. It's not an event. It is a lifestyle and one that we are commanded to live. No exceptions. If we know the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives, then we are to forgive. There are no exceptions to that. We are to forgive everyone who offends us. And boy, there are, I've, I've lived long enough and, and realized there are enough times and situations where uh, we are given opportunity to do this every day, whether it's the guy that cuts us off in traffic or the someone, even maybe a friend who, as the psalmist says, has lifted up their heel against me. Uh, we are to forgive as we have been forgiven. What has God forgiven you of? Now you are in turn, I am in turn, to forgive those who have offended us. I think about that in terms of what's going on even in our country. The leaders who have sworn to care and protect us, yet who are abusing, who are not fulfilling their obligations. What are we to do? Well, we're to pray for them and forgive them uh, because they need Jesus so very, very much. And so we pray for that, for them. Uh, we are to forgive, and it's hard at times, but it is absolutely necessary. And not only to forgive them, but to pray for them, remembering that Jesus died for them too. So I pray that will be a blessing and a help to anyone who needs to do that. And dear friends, if you have something where you have been unable, or maybe more accurately, unwilling to forgive someone who has offended you, you need to take that before the Lord. And in a in a true act of, of worship and submission to God, 
forgive as you have been forgiven. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today as you live a life of forgiveness.